Heads up for anyone planning on going into downtown today. Road crews are preparing for their annual inspection of the I-65 bridge. Now, there will not be any closures on the bridge itself, but drivers downtown will want to be aware of possible single lane closures on Brook and Kentucky streets. Work's being done today through Thursday from 3 until 9. And sticking with travel, this busy summer travel season is already on us, and already many of you are dealing with long lines and delays at Louisville's airport. The airport uh, officials tell us they are expecting a record year with bookings up 22% from May to September of this year. Jim is joining us live from the airport right now. And Jim, uh, SDF officials put out a travel advisory for those who are planning on flying this summer. Haley, they put out two here in the last probably three days, Saturday all the way into yesterday. They put out another one saying that you need to get here at least two hours early, and then they changed that to say two and a half hours early just to be able to get on your flights. And we can definitely see why this morning. We've shown you some of the check in lines. Now take a look at the TSA security line. You can see this line extends all the way down to where TSA is over here. Well, let me show you something else. It goes all the way down this hallway, and it's even starting to wrap around the back side of this hallway. There are a lot of people out here looking to catch flights and what I've seen right now is uh, airport officials starting to come around and checking to see who is on what flight and if it is a flight that's leaving soon, they're trying to prioritize those passengers and sending them straight up to the front so they might be able to get through the lines and into uh, the terminal so that they can actually go and catch their flight. Now, airport officials are crediting all of this traffic to just high demand for summer travel at this point. In fact, they're saying that they've seen 22% rise in demand from this year uh, to last year. Now, the busiest times to catch a flight are right about where we're at right now, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. That's what they're saying is the busiest travel time so far this summer. And travelers are getting very frustrated because of that. In fact, we were able to speak to some travelers yesterday who said that they don't even plan on flying out of Louisville again because of how bad this experience has been get to an airport three hours early for a, a simple domestic flight. I mean, that's just not acceptable. We won't fly out of Louisville in the foreseeable future if we have to. We'll even drive to Chicago or Nashville um, just to make sure that we are actually able to make our flights and then our future connections. And Eric and Haley, what I can tell you, just kind of the, probably the best uh, summarization of what this morning has been like for these travelers is every time somebody comes down here, takes a look at this line, and then turns this way to see where the actual security line ends, there's just a gasp and an oh my gosh, just shock and exasperation at that point because they've already spent about an hour in line just waiting to check in. This is a nightmare out here, and it's something that you might have to deal with for most of the summer. Haley? Jim, thank you so much. Now, for updates on any future, further travel issues, as we get them, you can go to our website, whs11.com, or have that WHS 11 News app downloaded. New Albany City Council is considering an ordinance that would legalize open containers in some parts of downtown. This is something that was discussed at a council meeting last night, and it follows a law signed by Indiana's governor just last month, allowing for what they call designated outdoor refreshment areas. Several people at that meeting supported the idea, Others raised some concerns about things like safety and keeping the downtown area clean. There is a lot of litter on Friday and Saturday nights that happen, not including in the door right now. So um, I would like to see some type of trash pickup or something as a resident because as it currently goes, you can walk outside almost any of the uh, late night bars on a Friday or Saturday and see their cups already out there at bottles or cans. New Albany City Council is still considering the idea and is expected to seek input from local businesses. The Sheriff's Office in Meade County is looking for help after a woman was found dead in her home. Deputies responded to the home on Old Mill Road in Brandenburg after receiving a break-in call. When they arrived, they found a, the body of a woman. Detectives were called to the scene and foul, foul play is suspected. Anyone with information is asked to call the Sheriff's Office at the number you see right there on your screen. It's 270-422. 4937. And this morning, thousands of residents are without water in Brandenburg after a main break. A water emergency was declared after a leak caused pump failure at the water plant. Taylor Woods and Ian Hardwick report on the residents scrambling to find water. Gallon after gallon. But I mean, 
got to take care of my newborn. So thousands of Brandenburg residents are without water due to a water main break. Many of them are left wondering how they will get any water as they have family to take care of. He's going to football camp and you know, no shower. We're going to have to do something. We've got to make a plan for him to get a shower. <laughs> a local emergency has been declared for the city of Brandenburg. You know, if this is going into an underground cavern, we may not be able to find it for a long period of time because it's just not going to surface. But then some good news. Shortly after seven crews found the leak, everyone is still being told they can only use water for essential services for the next 72 hours. And they've asked the state for more water bottles. And they are contacting the governor's office to try to get those wheels in motion to hopefully have us some water here, uh, hopefully in the morning. Residents have been coming to the city's town hall with their water buckets. Brandenburg police have been assisting the people with water. Brian came immediately after he found out the city was giving out water. Got to hurry up and go get it. And new Probably a lot of people's going to come here today. So far, they've given away a whole trailer's worth of bottled water. And once this runs out, they have more on the way. Everyone is remaining hopeful this local emergency won't last too much longer. From Brandenburg, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 on your side. Now, the head of the Meade County Emergency Management Office said he was hoping for a repair overnight, but so far the leak has not been fixed. Once water is flowing again, a boil water advisory is expected to be issued for safety reasons.